welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well for today's video i am going to be doing a full face of makeup using just mini makeup now a lot of these products are actually bought from london like two years ago i kept them aside because i knew i wanted to do this video and then i completely forgot about this i feel like now more than ever mini makeup is so so important because we're not really going out that often we need products that we can actually finish up and not let them expire so mini makeup is a savior i know sometimes when you compare quantities mini makeup Makeup does tend to be a little bit more expensive than the full size because you know wholesale retail that kind of concept but any who's it today I'm going to be talking about some mini makeup products that I have and have used and I'm going to be sharing my review with you all so it might help you in making your decision if you want to pick that product up or not and especially because with things that are international I feel like trying a mini first is always better so that you know that this is something you like and it's not going to be something you're just going to have in your vanity just sitting there staring at you for 20 years you know what I mean but yes I'm not going to make this intro any longer if you want to know how I got this look or if you want to know some mini products that I really liked and enjoyed and used and all of that and my mini reviews you know then please keep on watching I'm going to start off with some skincare. I have my Kama Ayurveda Pure Vetiver Water with me right here. I love Kama Ayurveda's waters. They're just so nice and refreshing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz this all over my face. The spray in this one is a little harsh but I don't expect really a lot from like a mini size spray. It has a spray. That's a miraculous thing. So I'm just going to you know make sure my face is nicely drenched in this. I love to take quick little showers in my sprays so this is no exception. While my skin is still a little damp, I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream with me right here. Now, this is a very thick emollient cream and it's supposed to just make sure that your skin looks beautiful. Now, as a moisturizer, I feel like it does a really nice job, but do I find it magical? I'm not really sure. I have a lot of moisturizers that perform equally well and are not as heavily priced as this one is. So, I'm a little on the fence about that. I feel like you know with a lot of high-end products and luxury products that I do own I use them more so because I've spent x amount of money on it rather than me genuinely just loving it yes of course there are products that I genuinely love and I feel like I wouldn't have been able to find at the drugstore but with most things I feel like mm, I use them because I've spent an amount on it <laughs> Moving to the realm of makeup, I'm going to start off by priming my skin and I have my Gerla Meteorites base with me right here. Now back in the day, this was the thing. Everyone lusted after this. Everyone wanted this. Basically, this is an illuminating primer. It has these shimmer beads inside that burst once you're dispensing the product out and it gives your skin the most natural, beautiful glow. I really like this product. It also actually smoothens your skin out a little bit. So if you have a little bit of texture on your skin, this is going to work so beautifully. I've taken a little bit of that product, not a lot and I'm going to start working this from the centers of my face I'm going to work it out I want most of that glowy illuminated effect on the centers of my face and as I go out I can do with a little less glow but this just looks so natural and so beautiful on the skin highly recommended if you're looking for something that's not supremely over the top and something that just makes your skin look like you're healthy like you're glowing like you have enough water green veggies and all of that it's time for foundation now and I have my Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation with me right here. Now I have previously tried this foundation, I have the full size of it but that shade wasn't meant for me. So hopefully I'm praying to foundation lords that this shade matches me. This is the shade 2.3. This is a very very extremely full coverage product. Like this is not a joke. This coverage is unreal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very very tiny amount. You know what I'm actually going to dot it straight away on my face very very tiny amounts I can always build it up later and I do have some backup foundations waiting for me from Estee Lauder their double wear has a mini range then I have my Clinique foundation waiting even better glow has a mini range too just in case this shade doesn't match me I can always balance it out with those I'm gonna start blending this out I think this would match me thank god <laughs> so i'm just blending this out and as i told you guys this is very very full coverage so once it's all blended out you're not even gonna notice even a single flaw on my face my foundation is laid down i love the coverage of this product but it still looks very dewy and glowy on the skin again something i really really appreciate i'm gonna quickly go ahead and do a little bit of concealing work only highlighting because i don't think i need any concealing work to be done after the coverage of this foundation so i'm gonna quickly go ahead and highlight my skin basically the thing is not a lot of companies do mini concealers and in india i don't think currently we have any mini concealer concealers in itself have a very little quantity so i'm gonna quickly just do a little bit of my concealer 
concealing work and I'll be right back for the next step. My concealing work is done and as you can see I've left my lid space area blank because I do have an eyeshadow primer today as well which is so exciting but I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm just going to start off by setting my face down before this starts to crease up. I have my Cover FX translucent powder with me right here. Now the thing that I love more than anything about this powder has to be the packaging. It has this flip cap to ensure you don't get excessive powder on your cap which is something I love. We get those flimsy plastic sheets that you have to peel off and then it's a mess. It's a mess. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that powder on my cap I had my cap upside down I'm just gonna take a very tiny amount you don't need a lot it doesn't give you a gray cast or anything of that sort it really just sets in your concealer into place and make sure it lasts longer so I'm gonna take a little bit of powder I'm gonna start applying it on my under eyes I'm really gonna press it in so that it can lock my concealer into place and make sure it doesn't move or budge for as long as as we can delay that and once I am done setting both of my under eyes I'm also gonna set around my mouth because I do tend to get smile lines I don't set the rest of my face but if you are from the oily skin family feel free to powder down all of your face now it's time to bronze up my skin and get some life and color back to it. I have my Sunstalker bronzer from Fenty Beauty right here and this is in the shade Shady Biz. It's one of the most perfect neutral tones out there. It's not too warm, not too cool, just somewhere in between and works so gorgeously on the skin. So I'm just going to bronze up my skin. I'm going to take it up on a brush and make sure I dust off the excess because this is like mediumly pigmented. It's not like supremely pigmented. It's not going to apply patchily but it still has a little bit of pigment to it. So I'm just going to apply it on the hollows of my cheekbones just starting to sculpt out the cheekbones a little bit as you can see this tone is so beautiful I'm gonna build it up a little bit more because I want a slightly more bronze glam look going on today I'm also gonna apply it on the perimeters of my forehead now I don't really need to bronze up my forehead because I have a small tiny 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 forehead but I love to do this just so that there is some sort of a you know connection going on between my bronze areas I don't want it to look like strips of bronzer which is why I like to bronze all over my face so I'm just placing my bronzer in first and I do like to go in with my powder brush on the edges of my bronzer just to make sure that everything is nicely blended in I'm also going to go on my chin and my jawline just to get again that whole synchronized look going on and the last area that I like to hit is my nose just a tiny bit I'm not particularly contouring my nose I'm very sloppy with my nose bronzer situation I just want a little bit of color on my nose I'm not really particularly going for I can't breathe look now to blush up my cheeks I think I have one of the most popular blush products out there I'm talking about NARS orgasm basically this is a beautiful pink shade with peachy undertones and a lot of gold shimmer to it People love this. People love this so much. I do own the full size to it. I actually own a lot of full sizes out of this lot because I do really like the product. So I'm going to take a big brush, a big, big, big brush because this is pigmented. It's as pigmented as pigmented gets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to very sparingly pick this up, very, very sparingly, dust off the excess and I'm going to start patting this on my skin. Now with this, you honestly sometimes don't even need a highlighter. I'm having a little bit of brush fallout. Sometimes you don't even need a highlighter because this does have a lot of glow in there so you can definitely pick and choose if you want to wear just this blush or if you want to go for an even more intense highlighted look now because my blush is already pretty reflective and glowy I'm going to go very subtle with my highlighter I have my Laura Geller highlighter in the shade French Vanilla now these are their baked highlighters and again back in the day the baked highlighters were every thing everyone wanted one everyone wanted to put one on their face have one in their vanity this was something that people lusted after now this is a very very subtle very beautiful natural highlighter I'm going to take a very very small brush because I don't want to go overboard with this at all so I'm going to literally just stamp it on my face like that very very precisely because if I do go slightly overboard it's going to look like a glow party on my face because my blush already as I said is pretty glowy and I'm not going for the glow party look today <laughs> so I'm going to just apply it very very precisely all over my high points so that's going to be my cheekbones just right here I'm going to stamp it into place I'm also going to apply it on the tip of my nose and then the bridge of my nose and the last place that I'm going to hit is my cupid's bow it's time to melt everything together. I'm going to take a quick little shower in my setting spray. I have the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay with me right here. I love Urban Decay sprays. I feel like they do such a fabulous job. They mesh your makeup in together so beautifully. And some of them actually do make your makeup last longer too. So I'm just going to spritz this one 
it's beautiful the mister is nice it's not something mediocre just because it's a mini size the mister is pretty pretty fine we are up close and personal because now it's time to start off with the eyes and of course i'm going to start off with my brows first i have the goose proof mini pencil with me right here i feel like the only difference between the mini and the full size is that they've taken away the spoolie which is pretty sad because i love 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 having a spoolie with my eyebrow products nonetheless i do really like this pencil it's one of my top favorites i do like precisely my brow a little bit more but even goose proof is an amazing eyebrow product and if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a try benefit out then you would definitely enjoy this i'm going with a very very light hand i'm just handling it from the end and i'm just going to start filling my brows in in the direction of my hair growth just like i like to do and i'm going to fill in any sparse gaps and edges i will however go in with a different spoolie so that i can distribute the product that's why i like to have you know spoolies with my eyebrow pencils at all times the brows have decided they want to be slightly fluffy for today so I'm not even going to fight it because I'm still okay with bushy brows. I don't want them to be sharpy brows because whenever I get a little too carried away with trying to perfect them, I end up with the worst brows of my life. So we're going to move on to our eyeshadow primer which is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Again, back in the day, everyone wanted this so bad and thankfully they have a mini because I got to try it before I went in and purchased the full size and I absolutely love of this it's such a nice eyeshadow primer i know right now we're in the world of p louise and all of that but i feel like this is such a nice primer still and i'm just gonna apply a little bit to my eyes i'm just gonna you know put two swipes like that i am just gonna blend this all over my lid space area with my brush now this is such a nice sticky primer like it truly grips on to the eyeshadow that you're applying and it doesn't like let your eyeshadow crease throughout the day which are the only two prerequisites to being a really really good eyeshadow primer so once that is done i'm literally going to give it two seconds for it to truly settle down before i move into my eyeshadow the eyeshadow palette of choice for me today has to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Mini Pro Pigment Palette. Now this actually comes in a huge palette and these are like mini versions of it so that you can like try the formula out, see if you like it, see if you like how the eyeshadows wear and everything. Now basically the color story of this one is pretty nice. You do have some really bright pop of colors in there but still they are somehow very wearable. I love the middle shade if you can't already tell there's a huge indentation in right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a nice fluffy uh, blending brush. And I'm going to pick up this orange shade right here with a very very light hand. I don't actually want the full pigmentation of it. I really want it to be more like a transitional shade and I'm just going to start placing it in my crease. I'm going to go with a very very light hand because again as I said I don't want it to look like completely orange orange. I want it to be more like a transition and it's already coming out like an orange orange so we might have to blend it out a little bit more. So I'm just going to make sure I work on my blending as much as I can before it truly grips onto my eyeshadow primer underneath and sticks and stays there till the end of time all right so i'm just blending 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 i'm gonna go in with another blender brush this time slightly tighter than the previous one and i'm gonna pick up this pink shade again i don't want the full pigmentation of it so i'm gonna dust off the excess and i'm gonna go into my crease again but i'm gonna place it slightly lower than the orange because i want the orange to be a transitional shade and the pink to be more like my crease shade so i'm just gonna apply it right there and blend it into the orange with the help of a flat shader brush i'm gonna pick up this dark 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 wine shade and i'm gonna dust off the excess and i'm gonna place it all over my lid as my base shadow this is genuinely gonna be my base shadow because i will be topping it off i just wanted a darker base shadow just to enhance the color i'm gonna apply next up now that our base shadows are laid down it's now time for the hero of the look i am going to be using this beautiful shade my favorite shade of this palette now basically this is a topper shade so it's slightly sheerer than the rest of the palette the rest of the palette is like pressed pigment so they're like really pigmented however i do feel like with the blending you have to work slightly harder because these are pressed pigments with this one this is just a beautiful sheer glittery color shifting colors and that's why having the darker base underneath really transforms this whole color so i'm going to start pressing this onto my lid and as you can see this just instantly glams up the look takes it to a new level altogether love this shadow so much even on bare skin it looks really nice has hints of pink rose gold gold all of that so i'm just pressing 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 i'm trying to get a little bit extra intensity out of this uh, topper shade now to balance my upper and lower eyes out, I'm going to start off by taking that deep wine shade and I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line. 
I'm gonna keep this very very tightly packed. I don't want to drag it too underneath. I'm gonna keep it very close to my actual lash line. I'm going to blend it out with the Barbie pink that we used in our crease. And lastly, of course, the orange shade just to blow everything out and make it a seamless transition. To highlight my eyes up, I'm going to use this beautiful highlighting shade. It's a golden, like a dull golden shade. And I'm just going to place it in my inner corners. It's very pigmented, but it's still dull. You know what I mean? Like it's not a bright, brassy um, golden. It's a very beautiful, dull golden shade that would suit so many skin tones. I'm also going to place it right under the highest point of my brow just to push my brows a little bit up and make them look a little bit more structured. Now it's time for mascara. I have my Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara with me right here. I'm going to say it straight out of the bat that this is... Not my favorite mascara out there. The formula is a little too dry for my liking. It doesn't really do anything, like not a lot, at least for my lashes. I do like to wear falsies even though I'm wearing like the best mascara out there. But you know, some days I want my mascara to really aid that process of wearing falsies. This one sadly didn't give me excessive lashes as promised on the packaging so I'm just gonna wiggle my brush through my lashes just to coat them with a little bit of color before going in with my falsies and of course we don't have mini falsies we do have single falsies if you want to consider them as mini falsies but we do have like a full strip lash moment going on that I love so I'm gonna apply my strip lashes once I'm done covering my hair with a black pigment I'm not gonna call this a mascara I'm covering my eyelash hair with a black pigment because this is exactly just that so I'm just wiggling my way through the eyes are done they've turned out to be very colorful yet very very wearable so i'm going to now move on to the lips i have my mac mini lipstick with me right here in the shade runway hit now when it comes to the revolution of mini products i feel like mac was one of the first companies to truly bring in a whole range of mini products to india and all of the other companies saw what a great idea that was and how well it was doing and all of them jumped in and it's great for all of us because now we get to try our products before completely investing our souls and hard-earned money into it but moving back to lipstick i'm going to be using runway hit as i've Said it's a beautiful peachy nude color and i'm just gonna apply it all over my lips this is gonna match to my crease color and also to my outfit just you know creating a balance and harmony over here and i'm just gonna apply it all over the formulation is still the same as the other mac lipsticks just because it's in a mini form doesn't mean they've tampered with the formulation which is great and i'm just covering all over my lips Okay, so this look could definitely use a little bit more pinkiness, mauviness on the lips. So I'm going to go in with my Rare Beauty Matte Lip Cream and I'm going to use it all over my lips just a tiny bit. This is in the shade Fearless. So I'm just going to dab it on my lips and then I'm just going to blend it out. And with that, we are done with this video and with our full face of makeup using just mini products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then don't forget to comment and subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. Also, let me know what other makeup videos you guys would like to see. And I would love to do them for you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care. I love you all so much. Bye.